Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Leah Johnson. This is Eyewitness News at 6 for Monday, October 30th. Frank Malloy has the night off. Well, it's just eight days until Election Day and the campaign tops our news tonight. Races for Congress here in central Georgia are getting more attention from President Bush. We'll look at the president's plan for another campaign visit to central Georgia tomorrow. You'll also see how some of your neighbors are casting their votes early. But tonight we start with accusations about a land deal that could earn Governor Sonny Perdue millions of dollars. Perdue bought land next to Oakey Woods in Houston County. Perdue's opponent for re-election, Democrat Mark Taylor, says Perdue turned around and prevented the state from buying and preserving Oakey Woods, stopping the protection of what Taylor calls a natural treasure. Our political reporter, Randall Savage, has the story. Governor Taylor Perdue blasted Perdue over the land deal at an Atlanta news conference. Governor Perdue bought land next to Oakey Woods, and he bought that land in secret. Oakey Woods has been available as public land for the people of Georgia for four decades. Taylor says Perdue bought 100 acres in Houston County next to the forest area called Oakey Woods for $300,000 and now stands to make millions of dollars because Oakey Woods will be developed for new housing. Perdue bought a piece of land in secret next to Oakey Woods, a natural treasure, a treasure that was available to the people of Georgia for recreation, including hunting and fishing. Then as governor, he made the decision to let Oakey Woods go to his business partners instead of preserving it. Purdue says that's false information coming from a desperate politician who's 22 percent behind in the polls. The people of Georgia have rejected these allegations as character assassination, impugning my integrity. Uh, they rejected it because it's coming from an untrustworthy source. That's Mark Taylor. And Purdue said he bought the acreage because it adjoins his home place property he's owned since the 1970s. Randall Savage, 13 WMAZ, Eyewitness News. Governor Purdue says the Oakey Woods property went on sale after the 2004 General Assembly adjourned and the owners wanted sealed bids. Purdue said that meant the state did not have an opportunity to bid on the property. His spokesman, Derek Dickey, says Taylor is fabricating another lie.